Hey Remy, I wanted to give you some feedback here about your comments because they they all need a little bit of work, but you're getting much closer to uh, preparing some really great notes here. Um, I did rewrite a few of them for you, and I, then I noticed the patterns, which is why I made this video. So with many of these notes, you talk about business industry, real estate industry, technical industry, economical, transportation, legal, financial. Um, a lot of these. A lot of these are um, a lot of our clients aren't necessarily trying to impact an entire industry unless they are say creating a blog I'm sorry um, uh, like a, a webinar or a podcast or maybe trying to affect the a lot of people within the industry but most of our clients many of our clients are trying to help a customer with something they have clients and they want to be improving their clients life in some form so really, we want to not help them knock the socks off their clients, whatever their clients are. And this can be worded in a slightly different way if needed, or it can simply say, let's let's not. I think with uh, let's see, like with this one, I said let's knock the socks off your investors because that was relevant for what he's doing. So you wanna you wanna keep it relevant, yet. You know, don't spend too much time trying to find something super unique and specific. I wanted to walk you through my process so that you can see what I do and how I check whether or not what you've made it makes sense. So that way you can go through the, a similar process and try to develop something that is more in line with what we need. So I first I look for Anne Dunwell and I realize that this is the same as these two. So this is basically you're trying to create a generic statement. And uh, this is, for one, the grammar in this first sentence isn't quite correct. So we're happy to see you make the most out of business. It would be most out of your business. But something that you wouldn't really say that to somebody. It, that, that could be said, say, if it, they've already bought a product and you, um, you you'd want to have more context around it. It wouldn't be a standalone sentence. So with this for Anne Dunwell, let's say it was super generic. You would say something like, we're, we're ecstatic to have you joining us with office hours. Let's knock the socks off your clients. Something like that might be generic enough, yet also personal enough because it's acknowledging that they've joined um, office hours and really for these ones I think it's for most of them you're gonna have to make sure anybody who came from the JL club you could reference um, as a general note the Facebook mastery because that's what they actually bought the Facebook mastery happens to be office hours um, so that's a comment there so I want to walk you through this one Eric Harris um, he you're right he's in the real estate industry and we want to have something a little more specific than this. This one's actually not not so bad. I this one perhaps could get by it. This this is a good opportunity for us to take a look. So this is the LinkedIn. This is what we have access to in the Facebook Mastery Sales Sheet. So by looking at this, we see he's a broker associate. Um, Douglas. Uh, this is a company name in real estate. All right, so we know he's in real estate. It says real estate here, Institute of Real Estate. Okay, so we know he's in the real estate industry. Now this about is a bit difficult to read. He just uses a lot of fluffy words, which I can understand why that would be difficult to understand. But you can see here, this is where this is where it comes in, where his his punchline is. We continue driven to embody bold new passions, leading this is luxury real estate. Elevated, elevated by this lender. So I think if we wrote a sentence about this, we could say something like, "We're it's amazing to see you got you embody and be so passionate about luxury real estate." And then the next sentence would be. We're so excited 
to help you knock the socks off your clients. Or you could even say your clients and investors, because I'm sure they deal with both. So that's how I would go through and figure out what information is relevant. And um, that's also how I'm checking these sentences, because I'm, I'm going through each one to make sure that they're that they make sense. I For one, I want to make sure that you get taught how to do this properly and give you feedback on how to word these things. So that's my feedback. So go ahead and go through the remainder of the ones on your list. Go through this process and rewrite them again. And um, I just want to let you know I really appreciate the work you do. I think you're doing a great job. And it's this type of um, communication that we have that's really going to allow us to mold you into a phenomenal VA. So thank you for your commitment, Remy. And let's just um, let's just keep going and learning.